Come on in. It's Frothy Monkey at the Nations in Nashville, Tennessee. Basically, the, uh, the origin of our whole project, we started working with Frothy Monkey about five years ago. Um, they're 12 South location, and the owner, Ryan Pruitt, always gave us a chance to build out furniture. So when he decided to expand the brand over to the Nations in Nashville, gave us a stab at pretty much everything in here except for casework. I'll walk you around and show you. I came to Nashville in 2012, August, and was playing in a band. I would go out on the road for three weeks at a time, two weeks at a time, a weekend here, a weekend there. And we'd come back and we'd have no money. We just had bills to pay and these really exciting shows, but there was nothing tangible that I could take home and feel like I was doing anything with my life. Your dream and reality don't always mix the way you think they will. So the busier we got with the band, the more hollow I felt, the busier I'd get with building because it actually gave me a sense of fulfillment and purpose. And you know, a show only lasts 45 minutes to two hours. You build something right, it'll outlast you. Over here, we got the heaviest door we've ever built. Uh, Double-sided, made from poplar and plywood. Kind of put together like flooring so it can at least move and breathe in the space. 95% of our products are custom, which is hard. When you're working on a custom piece in fabrication, odds are it's the first time you've done that piece. So there's no book, there's no playbook, there's no fabrication guide. It's the first time. You have all these building blocks of how to do it, uh, but you don't have an instruction pack. Every piece is different, so everything that you have to do to build that piece is different every time. So this is our bent lamination booth series that we started for Frothy Monkey in Chattanooga. Uh, we transferred the design over to fit each of their locations so they have a consistent product now. Um, we've taken hardwood walnut seating. We used seven layers of walnut bent lamination to match it to each back. It's a full sit-in booth, um, sits at bar height, so you can pull up a bar stool right here and sit with it, fit a group in an extra three seats. So it's about maximizing all of your seating area, taking up the least footprint that you can. Most of our clients are entrepreneurs, most of them. Of, of all the, if 100 people came through our door in a year, say 90 of them are entrepreneurs who have been in business 10 years or less. 50% uh, are probably startups looking to build their dream. And they put a lot on you, like it's their first go. So you have to deliver and you have to help and hold their hand through that. People come to you and they, hey, I want this, I want to open up this ice cream shop but I don't want it to look like every other ice cream shop. You have to take that, that's a sacred thing. You're building somebody's dream for them, but you're doing it with them. And most of our clients love that interaction. We have uh, dual floating bar racks, welded up, powder coated, uh, to match their, their blue accent color in the space. I believe they are two 18 foot by 18 inch deep, two by two tube steel with expanded metal in the middle and three quarter inch rail accents coming through. Um, they do have to be incredibly strong based on the fact that they're holding a whole lot of booze. And it's a fairly complex build. I mean, our Patrick, our lead welder, knocked them out. He did a really good job on them. The craziest thing about Five String is that we've literally, the greatest thing we've ever had happen to us ever has had really amazing people come through our door. Every single guy that has worked with this company, I would go to bat for in a heartbeat. Master craftsmen. And I, I say master, I don't mean, like, we're not the best in the world. We're not the best at what we do. 
but we try harder than anybody to get it done the right way. And we enjoy each other's company. When you have that combination, you can do anything. Uh, wood is going to move on you in completely different ways. Expansion and contraction, how it attaches to the base, whether it's a wooden base or a steel base. So you got to really plan to use the right finish in that given space. You know, here, in this amount of heat and sunlight transfer, a standard polyurethane is going to be no good. It doesn't allow any flexibility. So you can switch to a conversion varnish or a, a spar varnish that's going to move in the sunlight. The more sunlight wood gets, the more prone it is to warping, breathing, cracking if it's not attached properly. So this is how you prevent callbacks. It's choosing the right finish and also the right construction method so the wood can actually breathe without it looking loose. This whole past five years sometimes just feels like a dream, you know. How did I get here? How is this real? Yeah, I came here to play music and to be a touring musician who toured the world over and had a solid career. It sucks when you have a dream and you realize that it didn't happen or happen the way you thought. Um, things change. You have to change with them. You don't have to change who you are, but you have to change how you uh, react and act to them. So right now, I'm, I am living a new dream. I have a company. I have a lot of cool guys who I get to work with. Some of the most talented fabricators in the country. Some of the most gifted people, some of the coolest companies that we get to work with. We have an awesome shop. We're in a boom town of a city, and we make really cool products. <laughs>